This is Christmas Night on Channel 4. live from London. It's a special edition of The Last Resort. Music, variety, special guests and a spare chipolata. But now, please welcome your host, the fool with the Yule, Time Spirit, Jonathan Ross. had our party last night and I'm feeling just a little bit fragile. Do you mean just shutting up for a minute, please? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really can't face meeting any guests tonight. Why don't we just call the show yeah, Jonathan, up, eh? there's an old show business saying. Yeah, and you're the old showbiz person to tell me, aren't you, John? What is it? <laughs> show must go on. Very interesting. But what am I going to do? I'm in no mood to meet a guest, John. How are we going to do a show tonight? No problem at all. Why don't you go and sit over in your normal seat, relax, relax take it easy, and let me do the interview. Oh, oh, no, I couldn't possibly allow that. Well, there's no problem. I mean, I've chatted that one or two people in my time. I'm maybe. sure you have. I'll tell you what, I've got a much better idea. What's that? Why don't we both just sit down here, and while I'm trying to get better, why don't we watch some special hand-picked highlights from the first two series of The Last Result. <laughs> is Nick watching, do you think? <laughs> so That's gonna, uh, let me give you a hand. I was just telling you uh, the secret, actually. Yeah. The secret to, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you just, to uh, my long... Re uh, now, stop Yeah, that. the secret to your long... Uh, the secret to my long relationship with Mick is communication. Communication, what? Yes. Men and women communicate? Oh, you know, always knowing what's on their mind. How do you know that? Well... It's a well-known fact that every 90 seconds, sexual stimuli crosses men's brains. I can understand but why. If you keep that in mind... I will do. Can I keep one of these? Any trouble. Well, show me how you leg wrestle, then. Because uh, I've never leg wrestle. Lie down. Yeah. You lie down that way. Yeah. It's a real nice Texas twang you got there. Are you comfortable? Oh, yeah, I'm very comfortable. <laughs> you know, I've had this dream several times before. <laughs> You want me to scoot down the line? Yeah. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Now you have to lift this leg. I have to One, lift your two, leg? Three. You no, your leg? leg. And on the third time, we hook legs and pull. All right. So. On the count of three? Yeah. One, two, One, three. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Right. Count. One, two, and three. Right, okay. And third time we In that order? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. One, One, two, two three. three. Ah! <laughs> My wife thinks of Edna as her mother-in-law. It's a strange relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you have a you... husband and a mother-in-law in one and the same person. Uh, not to mention one of the same bed. That must be interesting. Yes. As well, so. Edna is a very caring mother-in-law. Yeah. What about your kids? How do they get on with Edna? And Celeste. I should imagine they like Celeste. They do. They like those shoes. Les wears <laughs> Bay City roller shoes. <laughs> I like the way, you know, you got the, you know, you got uh, Les McEwen to apologise for his career. I thought that was very <laughs> subtle. And then, you know... You'll be glad to know that we managed to repulse the invading Wogons, but unfortunately some of these ships got damaged in the fray, so I'm out here doing a few light repairs. Um, it shouldn't take too long, but in the meantime, why don't I introduce you to this week's Variety Act. He's been whipping them into a frenzy for the last 30 years, and he's still going strong. Please welcome Mr. Rex Roper. Now, of course, Rex, I don't smoke. You don't smoke? If there's any kids watching, you shouldn't smoke either. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, 
to do, I want you to hold it in your mouth there. You want to see my mouth? What you do? Hold it in your teeth. Yeah. Oh, and I should because say, otherwise, I, I won't fall in Is anyone incredibly stupid okay, watching? Then. Please Just don't hold try it out home, now. Okay? <laughs> hold it in your teeth. No, you're not going to... Okay. You're not going to... Uh, Just hold it in your teeth. Hold it. You know, I've got some kissing time for this <laughs> weekend. <you know? laughs> Just hold it in your teeth. Does anyone have a big cigar on them or something? <laughs> Oh, I'm doing it, Rex. Don't get angry with me, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it now. Grip it in your teeth. No, it's dead like that. Oh, God, oh, what? Well. <laughs> I thought that was a whip coming up slowly then. <laughs> I don't know what you do. Just hold it in your teeth. Okay, there's plenty of room in these, isn't there? <laughs> You heard of him before? You know, <laughs> I was standing backstage and I said, this is so nice of Jonathan to have me on the show. I am going to go out there and I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to <laughs> go, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be funny. I'm going to be as good as I've ever been. <laughs> and then I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, okay, so let's, let's talk about the film, because you've got a film coming out. It's not out of about four weeks now, I think. Is it in four weeks? It's four weeks. Mm. Some, some oh, way. what a countdown for the audience. <laughs> 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 and it's called Roxanne. Roxanne. And it's an update of the uh, Cyrano de Bergerac. Well, actually, he got it from me. <laughs> <laughs> when you're working on location, do you get people commenting on the nose much? Whoa, I love <laughs> Let me guess something. You, you've, done, you've done talk shows before, haven't you? Mm, <laughs> I love... <laughs> you sure this is going to help me, John? Are you feeling any better, Jonathan? Uh, I don't know, not much, really. Well, try, try and get down a little this, bit of that. Did this help me? Well, yeah. But don't forget. I'll tell you what, yeah. why don't I find my good friend Steve Martin? I know he's in town at the moment. Good idea. I'm sure he wouldn't mind helping out an old buddy. Or even someone he doesn't like very much. <laughs> That's great, yeah, put that record on. I'll be right there. That's okay. Hello. Hello, uh, is Steve there, please? Who is this? Hi, it's Jonathan. Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan, Jonathan Ross. You remember you did my show? Hello, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, Steve? Hello? Hello? Is that Steve? Oh, no, no. Uh, Steve's not here, actually. Oh, um, do you know what time he's expected back? Uh, he's, uh, he won't be back. He's, uh, he's dead. He's dead? Yes. That's terrible. How did he die? How? He, um, he was uh, crossing the street and he wasn't looking where he was going and he was hit by a dog. By a dog? A, a very big dog. <laughs> Whoa, that's terrible. There was nothing in the English papers. I, oh, he'll hate that. <laughs> um, yeah, can you speak up? I can hardly hear you. The, the, the connection is really... What did he say? Uh, he says he's on his way. But it, it might take some time. He lives in Los Angeles, you know. But that's hours away. We can't keep the guests waiting that long. And we couldn't possibly show another load of clips, could we? Well, I suppose one more little batch wouldn't do any harm. Just one more? In that case, let's have some more clips from the last result. <laughs> but we thought, now you're, you're kind of a family man, Donny. Yeah. You settle down in, in your family. <laughs> and the last result marketing division have kind of put together a few ideas you might want to put your name to now. A bit more mature. The kind of products you might want to be associated with. Like, for example, this Donny Osmond uh, Building Society book. <laughs> and uh, we have, you know, do you drive, Donny? Yes, I do. We have the Donny Osmond car washing kit here. <laughs> those, uh, 
Keep, keep your, keep your car tidy with Pops Mr. Clean, I think we could, the adverts could save for that. Oh, that's, great. that's good stuff. That's great. And, uh, let's have a look. What else Can I have this? Well, how about this one, Donny, though? Uh, for, those, for those winter evenings by the fire, we have Donny's Pipe and Slipper set. <laughs> But the, the best thing is the Donny Osmond Neighbourhood Watch sticker. There you go. <laughs> Who would dare burgle your home knowing Donny was looking over you? And they called it puppy love. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, I guess they'll never know. <laughs> How will your heart really feel? Get a shot of, get a shot of this. Get a shot. Why? question to ask you and this this really this isn't for me mm -hmm. but a lot of my female acquaintances have asked me to ask you this is what's it like to kiss Harrison Ford <laughs> it's, it's rough it's hard on the teeth <laughs> he's pretty uh, he's rough John Belushi was probably a better screen kiss than uh, than Harrison now, does Harrison use his tongue or is it just a... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't use he doesn't use his tongue he used someone else's <laughs> he's that famous <laughs> <laughs> It's gone very well, hasn't it? It's all gone very well. It's gone very well indeed. You know, Peter, people say that we look alike. Do you, uh, has anyone ever said that to you? Well, as your father, I... <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just, I just... She was a very nice girl. <laughs> and, I mean, we had a few drinks, we were dancing. <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. <laughs> but we've got more than just being father and son in common. Yes, we're we? both male. Oh, uh, we're both <laughs> male. <laughs> Who told you that? Because I like to research did it all. I'm you know. trying to keep that quiet. But you had a chat show in the 60s, didn't you? A live chat show. Yes, and you haven't had a chance of beating it. <laughs> now you've worked with these fish for some years, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. See, hey, see, yes. they're old friends and, uh, and they like fish. Don't About they? six Give months, which I don't. Do the fish good? smoke? Oh, they love it. Okay. Right, now you want to drink these now, yeah. don't you? You sure? Please. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Live fish and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He, he doesn't want to go, does he? Oh. 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 Where are they now? They're inside somewhere. In there. Can I feel them? Oh, yeah. Scooby me. I can feel them. Oh. I don't, I don't know. Are you pregnant, Steve? I don't know what they are. <laughs> right, Lola, let's give them a, get them back out again. Let's see if they're still kicking. Oh. Bit of smoke coming out. I think my well, Jonathan, how is the hangover now? I'm feeling a bit better, you know, and after that last clip, I'm even feeling a bit peckish. Well, <laughs> I reckon the turkey is just about ready for the oven. Uh, how long do you reckon that'll take to cook, John? No idea. Let's have a feel. That's, uh... Oh, it's, a big, it's about 20 pounds. That should take about three minutes and 10 seconds, I think. What an amazing coincidence. That's the same length of time as our commercial break. Wonderful. Why don't we cook the turkey? Um, you watch the commercials, and we'll be back in about three minutes with some more special guests, more daring variety, and some more, well, Yuletide fun. See you in a minute. One. So, 
two years in New York. And he thinks he can tell us how to run things. Well, we won't have it. It's all right. I fix things. He's traveling overnight on the red eye. He had no choice. Not first class. Of course not. Company policy. By the time he gets in, he'll be exhausted. And he won't have had time to incorporate those new figures I sent him in his report. He'll be hungry and tired. I've arranged for the chauffeur to bring him straight here, not to the hotel. Like a lamb to the slaughter, gentlemen. Good morning. New Club World delivers the businessman ready to do business. Pleasant trip. Yes, thank you. New Club World from the world's favorite airline. Hello, Smiler. You're looking better. Oh, mm, nice grapes. What I want is a smoke. Give me a cigar like last time, eh? Yes, of course. But I don't smoke those usual mild cigars anymore. I've changed to these Castella Classic, which are that bit wider. Open wide. Mm. Oh, pity. Because that extra width means even greater mild, smooth, smoke and enjoyment for about the same price. You'd love them if you weren't so set in your ways. Castella Classic. I'm set in your ways. <laughs> the choice is wider. And now it's time to... Hold on, John, John, please. I know you're hungry. Can you just give it a rest for a minute? I'm still feeling a bit fragile. Dear, oh dear. Well, it's now time to meet uh, my next guest. He's one of the people who's truly earned the title movie great. He's... Oh, no. John, what's happening now? The power's packed up. The power's gone. John, you forgot to feed the meter again, didn't you? Hold on. Boy, has anyone got 50 pence? Yeah, I may have one here. Hold on. No. Shouldn't ask you lot, should I? Oh, we're going to have to sort this out. And, uh, well, we'll have to show the viewers something while we do. Do we have any more clips? Well, thank God for that. Play them in, quickly. <laughs> oh, Jonathan, you didn't tell me. Didn't tell but you what? Tom Jones is on. <laughs> no, he's on. That was a real yeah. sex kitten walk you gave us out there. Well, excites for Tom Jones. For Tom. <laughs> so I take it you're a big Tom Jones fan. <laughs> Cracker Jack. <laughs> they're all too old for Honestly, Cracker Jack. They got that. Like. Between you and me, and don't tell anyone else, but I am moist at the thought of Tom Jones. <laughs> I can't imagine wanting to tell anyone else. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> boy, that's a nice wet start to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Hope we don't stick to the scene. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure not as much as the next guest hopes you don't stick to the scene. <laughs> I just take the chair with me and wear it as a bracelet or an earring. <laughs> Tom Jones. <laughs> I 
That. No, I don't think we'd want you to. No. Oh, he seems to like it. Uh, a little pepper. Oh. Vous avez besoin d'eau toujours. Mm, oui, il faut, he, he needs a lot of water to, to rinse it down. Surprised. I'm no, not surprised. I'm not surprised. Lots of people at home are getting really pecky right now. But you know, he, you know what? He had razors too, so wouldn't they rust on the way down? Don't we won't ask him that. I mean, ask Mr. Moist too. What? Uh, uh, what is the cup? Voilà. No, what he, what happens when he goes to the toilet? Uh, wait a minute. Don't <laughs> Start on this rather, rather pretty. Yes, he thinks yeah. it's very beautiful. The, 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 the cup yeah. is very beautiful. Mm. Oh, it has a different sound. Why don't we try him on a plate? Okay, Does we'll ask you about the another? toilet thing first, though. Does it? I mean, because <laughs> I know he has eaten. He did eat. What was the biggest thing he ate? Qu'est-ce que vous avez mangé? La chose la plus grande que vous avez mangé? Un avion. Un aeroplane. <laughs> now this was a, a light airplane. How long? Or two years. But it took him two years to eat it. Two years. Now, so what happens, and let's get back to this, what happens when he goes to the toilet? Alors, dis-moi quelque chose. Uh, combien de temps? <laughs> Depuis que vous mangez, quand vous avez commencé à manger, et enfin, la termination de, <laughs> de votre repas. Ça no, hold it, it wasn't as long as that when I asked you. <laughs> you like potato. And I like potato. Yes, you do. I think you should probably like tomato. And I tomato. Potato. Tomato. Tomato. Let's throw the whole thing off. Let's watch it. Would you eat the pencil sausage? Do you mind if I call you Bobby? Is that okay? You... No, no, come on, Mr. De Niro, thank you very much. Okay, Mr. De Niro, <laughs> were you genuinely angry when you acted? You no, I, get I never get angry. Get I, 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 it's, uh, excuse me. Are you looking at my wife? Excuse me. Hey, Bobby. Excuse me, you. Are you looking at my wife? Are you looking at my wife? You Are you? Hey, Bobby, hey, why? Hey, Robert, Robert. Why? What's Robert, the matter with you? Robert, Robert, come back here. Hey, why? Hey, Robert, hey, have another... Look at my wife. Robert, come on, calm down. You're my brother. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to, um, I don't know how to quite put this, but there's been another disaster. Oh, we no. can't get a music guest. Don't worry, I'm sorting that out right now. I'm just talking to a dear friend of mine. He's going to come right over. I hope. Hello. Hi, is that Sting? Uh huh, that's me. Hi, Sting. It's Jonathan here. Uh, Jonathan who? It's Jonathan. Jonathan Ross. Oh, you wanted Sting, the rock singer, right? Well, this is another Sting. Sting the plumber. <laughs> Sorry, wrong number, eh? Never mind. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't have to tell me, Jonathan. We can't get any music, can no, we? No, no, I was just talking to my plumber. That's right, Jonathan. <laughs> At least one thing, we've got the power pack. Yes, that's You certain. know, I thought for a moment that this whole business was a ruse to play some old clips. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't you want it. Listen, you go back over there to your little corner. I'll introduce our first guest this evening. Um, he's a man who is a true giant of the cinema in every sense of the word. His uh, credits of films read like a history of post-war cinema. He's been in films like On the Waterfront, Last Tango in Paris, and more recently, Apocalypse Now. Please join me in saying hello to Mr. Marlon Brando. <laughs> Oh dear. John, can you get a dustpan and brush? And maybe a mop as well, please. Marlon's had an accident. Um, <laughs> we haven't got any more clips we could play in, have we? Just while we clear Mr. Brando up. Just a few. Marlon?
from an old pro like me. I would love some. That's why we... And advice as well. And advice. <laughs> <laughs> would you like advice from an old pro who's been in the business for over 40 years? I don't know. I'm having second thoughts, actually. <laughs> and an old pro who is absolutely besotted with the whole idea of helping you. An old pro who's not ashamed to admit that he dyes his hair. That's it. That's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what I need. Where can we get Bob Monkhouse at this time of night? <laughs> Liz, if we can't find Bob, could you find it in your, your heart to give me some fatherly advice? Come in. <laughs> I said fatherly. I'm doing my best. Now, please, will you trust me? Yes. Uh, I don't think I have a lot of choice left now. <laughs> yes, I will. Will you, will you accept everything I say without demur? Everything. <laughs> Good. Well, I think we'll take a short commercial break there and we'll see you in a few moments. And now, Manchester's greatest, biggest, fattest star presents a tribute to the Smiths. I would go out tonight by Bernard Madden. But I haven't got a stitch to wear. You grizzled at meat is murder. You sulked at the Queen is dead. You weren't too happy about girlfriends in a coma. This charming man. Now Big Bernie's brought them together in one pool of misery. I was happy in a haze of a drunken hour. Yes, they're all here. Panic, heaven, heaven knows I'm miserable, miserable now, now, and many, many more. I was looking all brought for a together job, by this charming man, job, Bernard Manning. And heaven knows I'm miserable now. Do you really think? She'll pull through. Do you really think she'll pull through? <laughs> Girlfriend in a coma, I know. I know it's serious. Bye bye, baby, bye bye. Yes, a tribute to the Smiths bye -bye, from baby, Bernard Manning. Goodbye. Out now on album, cassette, and compact disc. Yeah. That's it's such a release. Getting out Being on stuff. television, late night, live TV, relaxing. These are great shoes, aren't they? <laughs> I don't you have. No, I used to have some platforms like this. They're probably being used as oil rigs now on the North <laughs> Sea. <laughs> but um, I like yours. Yours are very snazzy. Mine are a bit smarter, James. I must say, they? these sideburns look fantastic. Are you on the phone or are they real? <laughs> Really these are my own. I think you've done a very good job. I glue these in a week. They look so. good. It's amazing. What you you just look good. You, I, I look super bad, I think. You look super, bad. yeah, super crap is the <laughs> word you're looking for. <laughs> well, I mean, people actually did used to walk around like this. I just all the time. Right. It's frightening. It's happening here, and, and they really. <laughs> it's frightening. <laughs> you know what I really like about you, Eric, is the fact that um, you know you've been through this and you're very successful, but you don't have the kind of bitchiness that showbiz people generally seem to have. Well, um, I used to be bitchy. Uh, I used to be bad. I'd make other people feel itchy and sad. <laughs> I'd go out of my way to put people down. I was the sneer on the face of the clown. <laughs> Though I was well read, I'd make them feel all blue. But all this has changed since I've been here with Fine. you. <laughs> Four, two, ten. I want to love everybody today. I want to hug everybody today. I'm going to shove anybody who stands in my way. Take my hand and I'll give you my heart. Strike up the big band and write from the start. Today. Don't give a toss today. I've met Jonathan Ross today. I now know who's the boss, and I made my choice. Oh, take my heart, and I'll give you my hand. Let's buy a big Rolls Royce and drive it into the strand. Ah. 
behave. <laughs> Boys, how do you get four elephants in a mini? Don't how know. Do you how do you get four elephants in a mini? You can't. There isn't enough room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John. I've been thinking. Oh dear. You can't have a hangover because you weren't at the party last night. You were here with me rehearsing this. And another thing, television studios like this use thousands of pounds worth of juice. Every minute, they don't have slot meters. John, the calm down. And the business about the guests not turning up. It's never happened before. So what are you saying, John? Are you calling me a liar? Are you saying I'm making all this up? Well, Jonathan, to be quite frank with you, I think someone's played a really rotten trick on you. You don't say. <laughs> well, I want to get to the bottom of this. And while I do, we should have some more clips to give us time to sort it out. Play some in. <laughs> so just, uh, don't move. Give me all right. Hands down here, maybe? Hands down there, yeah. You all right? Something. You've done this lots of times, haven't you? Once or twice, yeah. Okay. Right. Hold on, hold on one second. <laughs> Listen, if, I, if I'm going to die tonight, then I'm going to milk this for all it's worth, okay? <laughs> Do you blame me? You're sure this is going to be okay? Yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> I'm, I can't believe I'm believing a man who dresses as an Indian. <laughs> he has tin foils over his nipples, and he... <laughs> Big nipples, nice. Just one thing, just one thing. Just please don't hurt me, okay? Anything you want. Legs wide apart, anyway. Oh, see, boy. David Bailey, of course, mm -hmm. who you married, and how, how long did you live with him for? Uh, we were married for, I think it was about 10 years. Uh -huh. Now, David Bailey, he's a man I admire a lot. I mean, he's, mm -hmm. he's been married or had relationships with some of the most beautiful women in the world. <clears throat> what's his secret? Is he great in bed or something? What's, what's David like in bed? <laughs> Jonathan, you go on about this all the time. I told you last night, you were the greatest. Well, <laughs> But you still won't tattoo my name on your arm, will you? <laughs> See, and if you really love me, you would. <laughs> now, we, Fox on the Box, I mentioned a little while ago, which is the fashion show you do now with um, uh, Muriel Gray. Who? Okay. <laughs> now, I'm a big Muriel Gray fan. Do you enjoy doing that, though? Is it it's something you really... Well, it's hell about? working with Marie, obviously. I mean, really. I know it's Marie. I must yeah. say, I do a good Marie impersonation. Do you? She goes, like she goes, now we're going to look at something new in the Fox. <laughs> <laughs> but she does it well. I love the way she does it. <laughs> Yes, I've, well, say hello to her, by the way. I've got news. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, she's, I mean, she's, so, so, she's always asking me for beauty tips. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and me as well. It, yeah. <laughs> so what, is it, what does the future hold for you? Do you, do you have children? Does that, do, you, do you like the idea of childbirth? Does that appeal to you enormously? <laughs> Jonathan, you want to give me a baby, just come straight out and say. <laughs> well, tell me, how can you eat the Swiss roll without looking derby? <laughs> no. I don't know. I see childbirth, it always reminds me of aliens, you know, for a minute, it's kind of this, to be naughty. I read an old uh, newspaper cutting new. It was the News you of the World. You should have black socks on with that, not You should. One. Black silk socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, you were supposed to be my friends. Oh. Friends? 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so sexy. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? It's going to be like that, is it, girls? Okay. Oh, darling, yeah. I love you. And uh, this is a, and, uh, this is a oh, chicken bone? Will, that's, a, that's a chicken bone right there. And, and this is a, a, a rattlesnake. But mm -hmm. now you have to wait for a minute before it gets to the good part. Because of the good part, well, you saw it was dragging there. But the next good part is when it gets to right about there, I suppose. That's about 11 o'clock or so. Just wait for a second so, yeah, because yeah. it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you... but, but so I have a bunch of these music boxes. And I have 10 books that are starting to change now. That's there, it. That, that, that's the good part. Yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> Uh, 
What do you do? Do you, do you sell many of these, Crispin? Uh, no, these aren't for sale. The only things that are for sale is a uh, uh, rat catching. There's copies of rat catching right. for sale at uh, this is a Los book. Angeles. No, this is a book. It's an old book, but you, the, you that, tempo the, it, don't the, yeah, you? Yeah, I've, I've, I've re, 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 reworked it and, and, and remade it. And uh, yeah, right. here, here's, uh, here, the, well, it's, here's a little bit. It says, this is a tiring, long story to write, and I've not quite done it yet, for I must finish with the sandpit man. He'd gone mad with fear and was so set bad, especially at night, that if he'd not got a bulldog sleeping with him as a sort of friend, he would go into a fit with fear and was often unconscious for so hours. And it was an ugly story, and I'm glad to say that with the death of the sandpit man, the miserable part of the children's life ended. What's the sandpit man violated the lab, yes. Yeah, and then uh, 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 you know, last Sunday, I had, I had a lab and skin removed. Uh, it, it was the one that gave the sandpit man the terrible disease. There it is, the There's disease, the disease it gave him. Yeah. Uh, and then it, sometimes uh, I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Crispin, you ever tried to uh, decaffeinate your coffee? Or, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Crispin Glover. Now, if anyone's going to be on their own on Christmas Day, it's Crispin Glover. Um, why don't I give him a call? Call him up and try and get him coming. Yeah, up. I will. And while I search through my file of facts for Crispin's number, I think we've got time for some music. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> well, uh, Crispin said he'll gladly join us. He's just setting out now, but I think it's going to be too late because we're right out of time. Um, but still, it's been a great show, a great series, and a great year, hasn't it, John? 
Yes, Jonathan, yes. You okay? You, you okay now, John? Well, I'm not really quite sure, you know. Well, what's bothering you? Well, what about the hangover? John, I never had a hangover. But I thought you said at the beginning of the show that John, you... look, don't worry about it. Okay, listen, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back in the spring with a new series, uh, some new guests, and maybe even some new jokes. Who knows? Happy Christmas. Good night, boys.